Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, happy 4th of July. That's at least the date that I'm filming this, and that's when I hope to get this up. It's the late afternoon, early evening of 4th of July. I can smell, I can actually smell kind of the charcoal from barbecues in the air. It's a uh, nice, comfortable afternoon, and I got Popeyes. There was no one there. I was the only person that went and got Popeyes, so I guess, I don't know. I guess everyone already got their Popeyes, because that's what everyone eats on the 4th of July. But I wanted to get this item done. I originally wanted to review this item um, last Sunday. I just wasn't feeling well that day, understandably, and I had to put it off. So I decided, well, all right, I'm going to get it taken care of today. They're still open as far as I understand. So that's what I decided to do, and that's where we stand right now. So today's review is for the Popeye's Cheddar Biscuit Butterfly Shrimp. And they release these every so often, the Butterfly Shrimp. And admittedly, this is one of my favorite items from Popeye's. I mean, it just is. They always do these so nicely. I always usually rate these highly, and this is one of my favorite things from Popeye's, so I'm really looking forward to this. I mean, I remember these butterfly shrimp, they just have a certain way with it, where they're just able to have it so tender, it's always so good, and I'm always looking forward when they ever release a new type of butterfly shrimp, because I usually know, when it comes to Popeyes, even though the chicken has kind of gone down a hill a bit, usually they still manage to do these butterfly shrimp pretty good, so I kind of got some high hopes for this one. Now this is their Cheddar Biscuit Butterfly Shrimp, okay? This is your standard butterfly cut shrimp, um, though it does have a little bit of butterfly meat, around 8% uh, or so in there. Um, it also has a cheddary biscuit coating. So I guess it's supposed to have the biscuit-like to maybe have a little bit of a butteriness and breadcrumb type of coating. And then the cheddar, of course, to have a little bit of cheesiness to it as well. So that's the unique thing about this, the coating, uh, the cheddar biscuit coating. Um, they only sell it in a meal, of course. It seems to be standard procedure now from Popeyes. And, uh, well, they only sell it in a meal in a little box like so. You know, you can see it there. And you have to get this with a side. I got it with fries. It also comes with a biscuit and some new sauce of theirs. Some ghost pepper jelly sauce. I always kind of shake my head when it comes to these ghost pepper sauces. It's a, it's a joke, you know, they're not actually going to put any ghost pepper in it. You'd be, you'd be dying, truth be told, so it's just in a name, but I guess it's supposed to have a little bit of a spice to it anyway. Here's the box. You can see in all its box-like glory. There it is. And there's me kind of looking at the box rather inquisitively. You can see in it fries, some of the shrimp buried underneath said fries, and there's a, uh, a, a bit biscuit right over there. So you can see everything's included. It's, you know, a nice little selection of fatty foods, and this is available for the price of $5. All right. Well, I guess we'll just try the shrimp first. Now, you could eat all of the shrimp, mind you. This is an interesting thing about these. You could even eat the tail, too. Um, that's one thing that I find interesting about Popeye's shrimp. But anyway, I'm just going to try them. I'm going to eat them plain first, and then I'll try them. After I give an initial assessment, I'll try them with the sauce. And we'll go from there. I'm looking forward to this. It is the cheddar biscuit. I think that's what it's called, right? The... I want to make sure. Yep, the Cheddar Biscuit Butterfly Shrimp from Popeyes going in.
my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined for those of you who don't know Burger King a couple months back bought out Popeyes and for those of for a lot of the people who understood and knew what was going on there was some protest about it because it seems lately Burger King is like the opposite of King Midas, you know, where everything he touched turned to gold in, in the story. With Burger King, everything they touch is just garbage, and it's terrible. And as soon as I bought Popeyes, I had a sad feeling, and I thought to myself, they're going to ruin this chain, aren't they? And that's, what, that's exactly what they're doing. Just like everything else that they touch, really. They, you know, they ruin it. Um, it's terribly disappointing what what I'm tasting here. It really is. These butterfly shrimp from Popeyes were my favorite thing from the menu. I kid you not. When they would release them, I would go there special for it. Now the chicken used to be, I mean, on its own, good. But these butterfly shrimp were something else. I mean, they were so tender. They had a butteriness to them. They just melted in your mouth. Oh, it was so good. I try these. And no sauce is going to fix this atrocity none. This comes down to the quality of the meat itself. The perfect shrimp really should just be really melt in your mouth. These are chewy. And that's disgraceful. It really is. And it brings it down from something that was excellent to now to below average. It's not terrible, mind you. They're edible, granted. But when you're used to expecting these excellent quality shrimp, the best from a fast food place, and now you bite into it, and they're all just chewy and rather lackluster in terms of flavor. It's such a terrible, terrible disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when this was such a good item, and you're trying it again, and now it's essentially a, a piece of garbage. So I hope you can imagine my disappointment when I know likely it's never going to go back to what it once was. And it's a terrible disappointment, folks. It really is. You know. Just texturally. They're lacking in flavor. A lot of that butteriness is gone. They're not even, you know, melting your mouth anymore. It's the best way to describe them. They're just chewy now. They're chunky. And it's a terrible disappointment. Um, they just, they, they have a real fishy taste to them now. It's, it's such a disappointment, folks. It really is. Um... In terms of that outer coating that they like to flaunt around now, where they say it's got the cheddar biscuit, um, I couldn't really taste any of the biscuitiness of it. I could taste a little bit of that cheddar cheese blend in there, which is nice and all, but at the same time, the meat has to be quality too. So it's a disappointment, it really is. You know, it's something. This is my favorite item on the menu there, and to see them ruin this too, it's sad. You might be saying, well, you know, maybe uh, maybe the Popeyes that you go to is just a bad one, right? As a matter of fact, I went to a different one today. I actually did. I went to a different Popeyes, a completely new one, and this is the product here. And it's such a disappointment, as I said many a time now. This is an item that I held in such high regard and to see them do this to it. It's crushing, you know, it's sad. It's really sad. To be quite honest. We'll try the ghost pepper jelly. Um, you can see it's got a redness to it there. A pool of red. And we'll see. But really when it comes to... Maybe it'll add a little bit of flavor to it. You know? But when it actually comes to the quality of the meat itself. And the texture thereof. A sauce is only going to do so much. You know? So we'll try a little bit here
The sauce is good and all. Keep that in mind. Now, the sauce itself is a nice little contradiction of a sweet jelly, really, like a sweet little jam, you know. And then it has this real spiciness. Now, it's nothing like a ghost pepper, you know. If it was a ghost pepper, forget it. I'd be bawling my eyes out right now and probably vomiting it up on the floor. Um, so that's not obviously what it really is. But it does have a nice little spiciness that kind of does add a little bit of flavor to it. But when the issue is the texture and quality of the meat, as I said, sauce is only going to do so much. Now it's still subpar quality meat with a little bit of sweetness and spiciness to it, and that's it. It's the same disappointment there, you know. So overall, I'm disappointed. I really am, you know. They, this is such a good dish, and to see it just sink down in terms of quality, it's saddening. It really is. This costs you $5. I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you've tried their um, butterfly shrimp in the past, because it's just sad and it's disappointing to see it just it just sink down so much. So I'm disappointed. Popeyes, please fix it. Get your act together, please. You once had a very good menu with very good items, and now you're stooping down to the level of KFC. So I beg of you, please do something about this, because it's such a shame to see something just sink down so low in terms of quality. Out of 10, therefore, I'm going to be giving this, the uh, Cheddar Biscuit Butterfly Shrimp, I'm going to give it a 4.8 out of 10, um, because it's still edible, but it's definitely on the lower, lower end in terms of quality, sad to say. It really is, and it's disappointing, I kind of saw this coming, but it's always, when you really see it happen, it always hits you hard, it really does. On one final note, since the review is wrapped up, and I'm just going to take a minute with this, I wanted to just emphasize a point that I said this a while back, but I wanted to just, you know, say it again. Sometimes with this channel, you know, I'll just, I guess the best way to say it is, you know, sometimes I might not be feeling well or I might just be having a bad day or whatnot. I just wanted to thank all of you who really do care about and support this channel, those of you who are the loyal fans and viewers, I just wanted to say thank you. Your help, your support, your kindness, and even your constructive criticism and feedback really helps this channel out so much. You give me the motivation, the inspiration, and the morale to keep doing this channel, no matter what, so I just wanted to say thank you. I'm always so thankful for your support and your help, and I really mean it, and I just wanted to emphasize that, because I always have been thankful, and I always will be. So thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up this review. Disappointing, to say the least, but hey, there's many more reviews to come, and let's keep those fingers crossed that we'll have a good item next time. Thank you all for, for watching and consuming this content. Take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today's review is for the Cheddar Biscuit Butterfly Shrimp from Popeyes. Take care and have a happy 4th of July.